Hello. And welcome. Uh, <laughs> I got rats behind me, sorry. I got rats everywhere. Oh, who's that? Is that Hex? I think that's Hex. Yeah, that's a Hexy. Wanna come give me kisses? Thank you. <laughs> uh, Kathy called her the rat of a thousand kisses the other day, and it's the most accurate way to describe Hex. She is all kisses all the time. But anyway, uh, so yeah, this is just gonna be another vlog. Uh, this is the week before I move. We're moving in 11 days. So I have to get Bug spayed. Where is Bug? She's somewhere. But I have to get Bug spayed. I'm gonna have to pack up. I have to pack up all my non-essential rat stuff. So uh, that'll be fun. <laughs> uh, but that's all I have to do today, I think. Or not today, this week. Bug's not getting spayed till Thursday, and it's Tuesday. Uh, but yeah, uh, we did pick up my friend's rats. They're very cute. I'll pop up a picture. I'll make her get me a picture. I'll pop up a picture. Uh, they are also very skittish. <laughs> the breeder I got her from is one that uh, I do trust. It's where I got uh, the triplets, Hex, Warren, Orville, and Cappy got her three girls, and they're all fantastic rats. But these are from a new line she's starting. They're Martins. And she says they're from the original Martin line. Like the, the original, the guy who started the Martins. It's from his line. Like directly from him. She hasn't had much chance to work with the line yet, so the first, the first litter came out ex The first litter came out, came out extremely skittish. <laughs> so I, I didn't get to like, candle them much or anything, but they're very cute. I'll, I'll pop up a picture if I can. Okay, I gotta go. for bug surgery or will be after I get uh I have to add the water which will go right here on this little clippy and I have to get the bag of food ready to go with her to the vet they never use it but I, I always like to give it because the one time I didn't it's the one time my rat had to stay overnight so hi cat hey hey anyway so I'm all prepped uh it's the same stuff you've seen me do so many times at this point. Nothing different. Hopefully Bug will do better than Riff Raff did. Uh, typically rats are okay after surgery, but Riff Raff was just so stressed being alone that I had to put her sisters in with her. At least with Bug, if that happens, I have a lot more options since she's in a group of seven, so I can just rotate them out as necessary. But, uh, hi Dax. She thinks I'm talking to her, so she's meowing at me. But yeah, I'm all prepped for that. And then uh, tonight I'm gonna do a little bit of the packing of my rat stuff that's like right in there. And then some of the stuff that's at the top of the closet's probably gonna get tossed. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so already, hopefully everything goes well. My biggest concern is that they're gonna give her the same medication they gave Foggy, 
which made Foggy so freaking loopy that she like chewed open her incision and stuff because she was just chewing on anything she could grab. And she was just like doped up for days afterwards. So hopefully they don't do that. <laughs> All right, as I said earlier, I'm gonna be packing some today. So this is just a box of odds and ends, rat supplies mainly. I uh, got the humidifier in here, all my baby cage supplies, some foraging toys, and my snuggle sack. So, plus my notebooks down here that have like their weights and stuff in it. So yeah, box one, finished. This is Lockley's reaction to hearing Sarah's voice in the other room. My own child doesn't care about me as much as Sarah. Wish I could say I'm suppressed. All right, getting the second box done. So uh, that's just some artwork my friend has made me. But uh, I have the rest of my rat supplies, my switch, uh, and then this little pile here is all my paw prints. Well, not all of them. Some of them I already packed. I don't have a paw print for every rat I've had because they only started offering them to me after I had already lost like over a dozen. But I have some. So this is Rowley's paw print. Is this one's Pilot. Pilot was one of my heart rats. <laughs> this is Button Bright, who was uh, Pilot's sister. Also an amazing rat. You can see their little flex from their tails. Ah, oh, well, see. <laughs> yeah, they did her paw, her paw print a little weird with the tail. I like it when it curls under more. But yeah. We'll see. This one's Daisy. Yeah, see this one looks nice where it's like the tail is more like circling as opposed to a hook. <laughs> Asher's. Uh, Asher was Daisy's sister. They were actually put to get put to sleep together same day, so they never knew a day without each other. Right, here we have Rooks. I don't really know what happened with her tail right here, but that's fine. Everyone I just showed you was actually part of the same group. Mercies. See, I really don't like how they did the tail on this one. <laughs> like, I think to me, this looks like they forgot they were supposed to do the tail and added it last minute. So it's just kind of weird. But the impression looks so good. It's almost an optical illusion on camera. But Mercy is actually Humdrum's sister. She passed away last year. This one's Willow's. Willow was another one of my heart rats. They did not do a very good job with hers. Like the indents just are very shallow, but I still like it. Oh, it's cracked. Oh, I've never noticed that before. Oh no. Oh, I'll have to be very careful with it. This is actually my dog Buttercups. She passed away last year. That one's sister. <laughs> she uh, had Cushing's and her Cushing's medication uh, turned against her. And we didn't catch it in time because we didn't look in the right spot. And the last one is Humdrum's other sister that I had anyway, Merit. My little mare bear. Another one of my heart rats. Also cracked, but only on the back. <clears throat> and here's Bug. Hi, oh, baby. Back from the vet. <laughs> they did not see anything abnormal, or at least the vet tech I talked to, he hadn't told her he'd seen anything abnormal in her uterus, but still for peace of mind to make sure she stays healthy, it was probably the best option to get her spayed. Hi. She's not thrilled with being stuck in a cell cage, as usual, but I think she's doing okay. I think they gave me the wrong medication, though. Um, Moxicam's fine, but they normally give it to me in, like, one of these. <laughs> so I don't know if that's been dosed down for a wrap. So I'll have to figure that out. <laughs> but 
But yeah, uh, she doesn't need that till tomorrow anyway because she's on a... Uh, they gave her a shot for 24 hours. As you can see, she's not all dopey like Foggy was. So it, it's a good shot. But yeah, hopefully in a couple days she'll heal. She has no staples. Uh, she has internal sutures and then they did uh, skin glue. So hopefully as long as she doesn't mess with it, which I haven't seen her messing with it. Currently she's just trying to pull up the towel. So yeah, she should be fine. Hi bug bug, bug bug. Oh, here's Bug. She's doing pretty good. She's, um, unhappy. <laughs> She's not eating as much as I like, so I put some extra treats in there and stuff. She's never been, like, much of a food-motivated rat, so I'm not necessarily surprised. She did eat some, and she pooped, and she drank. So, like, there's nothing wrong internally. This is just a stress response. So probably what I'm going to end up doing is popping one of her cage mates in there. Probably Honey. And then rotating them out. So like after Honey, maybe Hopper. Just to like kind of see if she it helps her calm down a little bit. Because she's pretty stressed. She's not very happy. So yeah, let me let me go grab her sister. Okay, Honey's in there now. So Honey might be eating. No, you're just sniffing her? She's, honey seemed pretty restless last night. So I thought perhaps she'd like to see her sister. Because she... She seemed really, you know, distressed and stuff. Oh, Bug's happy to see her. I don't know. Can you guys see at all what's happening in there? Yeah, Bug's happy to have a companion. So I'll pull Honey out for free roam. So Bug will have to be alone for an hour at that point. But after free roam, I'll pop her back in here for a couple hours more. And then I'll switch her out for Hopper. Yeah. Rats need other rats, y'all. It's always the case. Yeah, hi baby. Are you happy now that you have a buddy? Hi baby. Hi bug bug. Yeah. Hey honey. I'll pull you out for free room, okay? There's treats in there. You can t you can have some. There's lo loads of stuff. Loads of goodies. She'll find them eventually. They're just happy to see each other at the moment. Wait, will she see him? Oh, honey. <laughs> this is also a good taste for uh, when we're on the road because they're gonna be living in one of these for like two or three days. Wahoo! Birthday carnage. Oh, oh, okay. I'm not allowed to pet them. Hi, not the dig box. I already have one in there. Oh, hi. Well, it's birthday carnage here at Hall of Rats. Everyone got some cake. Um, it's high value. They're going nuts for it. I cannot get it back from them. And now my dig box is filthy. So, 